Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and there's been a lot of talk in the groups lately about people having issues with their Facebook ads. And I even saw in a different group, the owner of a different software was laughing at ClickFunnels and saying the problem is how they do, how ClickFunnels does their redirects and stuff. Well, I happen to know exactly how the other software does their redirects and their masking for their custom domains. And it's exactly the same way that ClickFunnels does it for their custom domains. So that's not the problem. Where the problem really comes in is there are so many options inside of ClickFunnels on which URL to use that it's a little hard to know which one, which path to use, URL, exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk through and show you from the very beginning to the end exactly how to set up your custom domain how to get the SSL certificate, set up your default, your 404 page, set up your URLs, set up your paths, so that when you take that path and you put it into your Facebook ad, that it is the one that Facebook is most likely going to like and is most likely not going to give you any problems with. Now, have I ex tested this extensively with Facebook? No. Have I run a bunch of Facebook ads in the past? Yes. Have I ever had this problem? No. So I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that this will fix most people's problems. So test it out. And let me know what your results are. So let's just jump into this here. So the very first thing I need to do is I want to come in and I want to set up a new funnel. So we're going to add a new funnel here. And we're just going to set up the very first page of the funnel. So let's just call this here demo funnel one, just in case I had another one called demo funnel. And what I'm going to do before this is I'm going to put in a whole bunch of asterisks. And the reason why is I have 650 funnels in my account. And so when we go to associate this, it's real hard to find them sometimes. So we're going to put in the asterisks there just to make it easier on myself to be able to find it. And also we want to set up this page first before we go in and set up the custom domain because we want to have something to associate the domain to right away once we get it set up. So at this point here, next thing we need to do is we need to pick out what kind of a page type we want. So we have our opt-in, sales, webinar, membership, whatever. Just always make sure to click on it, get the exact page type you want for the first page of your funnel. But in most cases, it's going to be an either an opt-in page, a sales page, product launch. I guess it could be a webinar registration page, even something like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on show only my templates because for all of the page types that I use, I always build myself a blank template. So I just grab any old template, I go in, I delete out absolutely everything, I make sure there's no CSS, no JavaScript, no background colors, anything like that. I just complete, com completely create a new blank template and then I know going in that there's nothing in there that I need to be concerned with. So we'll come back to this in a little bit and we'll work on our paths and I'll show you exactly which of the paths, the URLs to use when working with Facebook. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to go in and we need to create ourselves a Cloudflare account if you don't have one. So just go to cloudflare.com, sign up for a new account. Doesn't cost you anything to do it. I've used Cloudflare for at least 10, 12 years now. I've never paid them a dime and I've probably run a hundred different domains through here. So we're going to come here and we're going to click on add a site. And the site that we are going to use is right here, funnelcodesecrets.com. So let me just copy that. And we'll come back over here. We'll go to FunnelCodeSecrets.com and we will add that site. And then we're going to tell it we want a free plan by clicking on it. And we're going to confirm that plan. And now what it's doing is it's going out, reaching out to GoDaddy, where I buy all of my domains. And it's grabbing a hold of a couple of the DNS records there. And it's pulling it into Cloudflare. So here we see here we came in with one A record and then two C name records. It could also pull in a bunch of MX records and TXT records and SRV and NS and who knows what all else. There could be all kinds of stuff here and there could be, I've seen as many as 10 or 12 A records in here. The only thing you have to do is go in and delete out all of the A records. So we're gonna delete all of those out. Then look through the C name records and see 
if there's a www, if there's a www existing in there, make sure it is pointing at your root domain. So make sure it's pointing, in my case, at funnelcodesecrets.com. Then the only other thing we need to do is add one more CNAME record. So technically, if you were doing this, you really only need the two CNAME records. It doesn't need to be anything else in here. But like I said, if there's a bunch of CNAME records, MX, TXT, whatever, just leave them all in there. So we got our CNAME record, and we're just going to put in an at sign, which means anytime you type in an at, that means just put in the root. So right now we're saying click funnels or funnel, funnel code secrets is an alias of the target, and the target we're going to type in here is, is target. Let's type it right. Target.clickfunnels.com. Com, and you can turn off the little orange cloud if you want or leave it alone because it will turn it off on its own because we only need this to be DNS because Cloudflare, I mean, sorry, ClickFunnels is an enterprise partner with Cloudflare. And so therefore it does not need to be proxied. Everything that is ClickFunnels also runs through Cloudflare. So we're kind of like double protecting it here with Cloudflare. And so the real reason, I guess I didn't really say this up front. The real reason we are doing what we're doing is simply this. If somebody types in HTTP or HTTPS, we want them to go to the first page of your funnel. If they type in www or not, we want them going to the first page of your funnel. If they type in a path at the end of the URL, whether it's a good path or a bad path, we want them to go to the first page of your funnel. And so that's what we're doing here. We were taking all of the traffic that could potentially be coming to this domain and we want it going to the first page of the funnel because you know why wouldn't you you're paying for this traffic for the most part so we want to make sure we get it to your page so what we're going to do here is we're going to come down here and we're going to grab a hold of these new name servers because we need to change them in godaddy so that godaddy is now pointing at cloudflare so we copied the first one we're going to come into the, our, my domain registrar. And again, yours is going to look different. You got Namecheap, you got Bluehost, you got whoever. You got to hunt around, Google it, ask, you know, ask Google, uh, where do I do my DNS management? Where do I change my name servers? Because that's what we're really looking for here is to change the name servers. So we're going to come down here and click on change. And you're going to get warning messages along the way telling you, hey, are you sure you want to do this? You could mess everything up. But I will tell you right now, we're going to come down here and enter my own name servers. And we're going to paste this back in. Uh, but I will tell you right now, you can undo all of this very quickly if you need to for some reason. It's a simple click, click. And I will show you that in a minute here. So let's click on save. And then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to say yes. And then in GoDaddy here, it's going to give us a purple message at the top of the screen. It's going to show the old, uh, the old DNS records for about 30 seconds. And then it will click out and go to just the new name servers. Okay, so here are our two new name servers, but it's showing the old ones as well. So let's just reload the page just to absolutely make sure that only the two new ones are in there. Okay, and that is what we have. Now, if you want to ever change this back to what the original was, you just come up here and you click on change. And you would just click here. I'll use GoDaddy name servers instead and save it. And that'll just take you right back to what the original DNS records were. Because no matter what we do inside of Cloudflare, it will not change the records over at GoDaddy because what we're doing is we're just telling GoDaddy to point to Cloudflare, not the other way around. So let's click on here, done, and check our name servers. And this is something new they put in probably about the last month to help improve uh, security and whatnot. And so you always want to have this here, automatic HTTP rewrites. We want that. So it's always going to, we always want it pushing it to the HTTPS. So again, here, always use HTTPS. So we want to speed it up. We want to get it going in the right place. Like I said, what we always want is we want to stripping out the www and giving us the https no matter what. Now here we're going to minify the code 
which means basically for us humans, we need to have spaces and carriage returns and uh, comments and things like that in our code. It goes in and strips out everything except what the computer needs to actually draw the page on your screen. And then we got Broadly here again, and it says that's gonna help speed up our load times. So again, that's a good thing. And so now we will click on finish. And if you ever want to get rid of this, um, this, this site, this domain out of Cloudflare, you just come down to the bottom here and you remove the site. You can pause the site. And also up here, if you are ever under attack by some bots, DDoS, that kind of thing, you can come in here and you can turn on this attack mode. Don't know exactly what it does, but it's there for you to turn it on and it's supposed to help. So now we got one thing left we got to do inside of Cloudflare here and we need to create ourselves a new page rule. So we're going to create the page rule and you're going to see right here on the screen it says www.funnelcodesecrets.com slash asterisk. And so that's exactly what I want to type in is www. And let me see here. Funnel code. So I have www.funnelcodesecrets.com slash asterisk. The only change I'm going to make here is I'm going to put an asterisk at the front end. And I'll tell you why in a second here. Then we want to come down and we want to forward this URL. So forwarding URL, we want it to be permanent redirect. So that when the computer sees it, it says, okay, well, that's a permanent redirect. And if there's any link juice attached, it'll push that through to your site. And then we want to change that to HTTPS colon slash slash funnelcodesecrets.com slash dollar sign two. So what we're saying up here in the first line is if somebody types in, this asterisk is a wild card. So if somebody types in HTTP or HTTPS, with a www after it, we want it to just turn it into HTTPS, period. And then if somebody types in something here at the end, a second asterisk as the path, so let's say they type in free pizza, it's gonna grab the free pizza off of whatever they typed in, and it's going to append it here to the end. Dollar sign two signifies the second asterisk. So anything here is a path, will get pasted onto the end. And again, one more belt and suspenders times three on making sure that people get to your first page in your funnel. So now let's go back to overview here. And once that is done loading up, I'm going to refresh the page. I find this the best way to find out if it is live or not yet. And there we go. It says, congratulations, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. Now, one thing I have found is if you use a different TLD other than .com, so I was testing one earlier with .co, if you're using .net, .whatever else, it could take a lot longer for this to propagate. .com propagates almost instantly, but if you got some other... Um, some other TLD, top level domain is what they call it. If you got a different one, it could take up to 24 hours for this, for Cloudflare to completely kick in. But dot coms are almost instantaneous. So the next thing we need to do is we need to come into our, our GoDaddy account. I'm sorry, not our GoDaddy account, our ClickFunnels account. And we're going to come over here and we're going to say we want to add our domain now because we got it set up in, in Cloudflare. We got it set up in GoDaddy. And so now we're going to use an existing domain and we're going to wipe out the triple W and paste in our domain name. So let's paste that in. Now it says here, this domain is registered on Cloudflare, okay? It is not registered on Cloudflare. We ran it through Cloudflare. We ran the name servers through Cloudflare, but it is not registered there. You can actually register domains there in Cloudflare as well, but it is not. So we will add our domain and we will say we have done this step. And now these two happy fellas here tell us that we are connected. And so now we're going to have to go here and click on the drop down and we have to find that domain. I'm sorry, that, uh, that new funnel that we just created. And it's right down here at the very bottom. I wasn't sure if they put them at the very bottom. You know, I think they just changed this because I know in the past I've had to hunt all over for that thing. And so maybe the most recent ones are now being put at the very bottom. So we will put that in there and we will associate our funnel. And we will scroll down to the bottom here. 
And here we go, funnelcodesecrets.com says it is verified. So we will click on the link here on the left. And the first thing you always want to do is go in and start setting up your SSL certificate because it's actually a two-step process. And I think a lot of times people forget to come back and do the second step. So we said here we wanted to add the SSL and the page will refresh and we'll get a green box up here in the right hand corner that says that it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes for the SSL to propagate. Truth is, again, it's about 30 seconds with a different TLD other than .com. Maybe, maybe it'll be longer. I don't know. I basically just use .coms myself. But now we're gonna come in here to our default page and because we already associated this page, or we already associated this funnel with this domain, it should populate everything in here correctly. So our default page, no matter what, if somebody types in funnel code secrets, we want them to end up on this existing opt-in page. So we can click and save on that, even though we didn't need to save it. And now we can go to our error page. And what I always do is I always set the error page as the first page in the funnel. So again, no matter what, somebody types something in, they mess it up, they put in the wrong path, whatever they do, they also are going to end up right here. The error page is going to redirect them to the default page, which is the first page in the funnel. So now let's come down here and we will expand our SSL and we will check now again and it should be completely done. And now we get our congratulations saying that we have our SSL all set up. So now the domain is completely set up. So now let's go back to our funnel page. And the first thing I want to do is I want to reload the page because then we're going to go into settings and it should show that this funnel now is associated with that domain name. So let's go here and click on our settings. And so here we got funnel code secrets It automatically put that in there. And let's just take out all those asterisks, which um, in this case here, I probably don't need it because like I said, they, it appears as though they've reordered how things are done inside of the domains. Okay. So now here becomes the final bit of this, which is what I think is messing up people when it comes to their Facebook ads. So what we want to do is come down here to this gear. And we want to come into the gear and we want to give this page a name. And I always say, give it the name of something that is a benefit for the person coming to the page. So they're going to get a free book. They're going to get, um, you know, a lesson, a webinar, a web class, you know, something they're going to get, some sort of free product. And so in this case here, let's just say we're going to get free cheesy garlic bread because I've used that example before. So we're going to just say free cheesy garlic bread and we're going to come down here and the path, we're just going to completely wipe out that path and we're going to update the page. Now we're going to see here because I know I've used that that uh, path before, but I was totally on a different funnel on a different domain. So let's see here if it's going to allow me to keep that path and it may not. So let's take that back off the end and let's update this again and let's see what we come up with here and see it's not going to like that because I already used that path on a different funnel somewhere else so what can we do to change this here so let's just come back up let's delete that out and let's see what we can do here let's just say we want free garlic bread instead of free cheesy garlic bread and update that page and now we'll come back in and see if we got a clean clean path here we have a perfectly clean path that is great so now let's update that page so again if you're using that path already somewhere else even on a different funnel even on a different domain it will not let you have that again so sometimes you are going to have to maybe d append a number to the end but now the next trick here is you see still over here it says opt-in so we're going to click on publishing and as soon as we click on publishing this name over here is going to change to free garlic bread and the funnel step name here will change as well so now what we're going to do is we're going to completely wipe out this path and we're going to say we want to update the funnel step and this is where I used to leave it until basically yesterday I made a change to how I do this because here we see it says free 
garlic bread with a bunch of numbers and letters appended to it. And if we were to now just keep an eye up here in the address line, what's going to do is going to show up, it's going to show the domain, it's going to show free garlic bread, numbers and letters. And then at the end, it's going to drop this part off and just say free garlic bread. So let's just take a look at that. Right up here in the address line, see, boom, it was there just for a millisecond. And then it goes to that. But what I started doing yesterday was instead of leaving those numbers and letters at the end, you can actually come in and type in whatever you would like to be at the end there. And so what I'm going to put in there is a dash and the word loading. So it's going to say that it's loading for a brief second in that address line, and then it's going to drop the word loading off the end. That way there's no numbers or letters or anything in there at all. But again, how we're going to do this inside of Facebook is you're not even going to put on the part with the loading. So again, watch up here in the address line. I'm going to click on the link. So boom, it just said there for a second loading, and then the loading dropped off, and it's going to the page. And now we'll come back here. So now... From the standpoint of Facebook, what do you want to give them? You only want to give them this address right here because right here it says ending path of the URL. So no matter what, if you were to give them this URL right here, which if you look down here in the corner, it's, it's going to be demo-funnel-1e blah 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 but if I click on that again watch what happens in the address line here so if I give them that we first had the demo funnel with the numbers and letters and then it flipped to this final path right there and as we just saw if we click on this it goes to the final path which is again what we have set up here and that's why we have to this is the most important one, and that's the one you want to use in your Facebook ad. So the easiest way to get that then is we're just going to grab this, and we're going to go copy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, how is Facebook going to see this URL? How are they going to view it? So let's come over here into Facebook's debugger tool and it's developers.facebook.com slash tool slash debug or just Google Facebook debugger tool. And let's just paste in that URL and then we will click on debug and it'll always tell you now because I've never used this before. We need to fetch new information. So we will fetch that new information and it should pull it up right away. Now, in our case here, I don't actually have anything on the page. I have no SEO metadata set up on the page. I don't have any of that. So if you had that, you would actually see. So if you had a, a, an image set up in your SEO metadata, you would see the image here. You would see the title. You would see the description. All that would pop in right here. But what we're specifically looking for is this right here. So we got a fetched URL and then we got our canonical URL. They are exactly the same. No redirects, no nothing. Whereas here, let's take a look at this here. Let's say you gave somebody just the root, do root domain. So you just said funnelcodesecrets.com without the free garlic bread at the end. Let's say you were using that inside of your Facebook ad. So you did that instead. Now let's click on debug here. And what we're going to see is this right here. Now, this is not necessarily anything bad. It's a 302 HTTP redirect. So, you know, inside of Cloudflare, we set up the 301 permanent redirect. This is a 302 not permanent redirect. I don't know if they call it not permanent or what they call it. But it is a 302 redirect, but it's a not a permanent redirect. Could this potentially be causing a problem with your uh, with your Facebook ads, it possibly could because you did not include the path at the end. And I've also heard that including the path with numbers and letters and all that stuff at the end. So you want it to go to what ClickFunnels calls the ending URL, which again is the URL that you set up right here, ending path of the URL right there. And again, you grab that by just pulling it right off of here, just the part you need, copy it, use that in your Facebook ad, use that anywhere you're putting out the link to this page. That's a much better link than even just going to the root domain. But again, if somebody were to type in the root domain somewhere else, they will obviously end up on your page. Plus the part with the free garlic bread, if somebody sees that, 
that's going to give them more incentive to want to click on the link and go to where it, wherever the link will take them to. So that is it. I think I answered all the questions in here, and I think I showed all the steps on how to get this set up. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.